He threw an elbow, it hit my shoulder, the crowd went ooh and ah. He threw the uppercut, it hit my nose, and I just like, and the crowd went ooh and ah because they don't like me. You know what I'm saying? So I started clowning around. Cause I don't care if they boo me, you know what I'm yeah. saying? Like, like what's, what's, what's the this? Connecticut? Yeah. And I'll kiss my ass. That's why he said, let me say it again. Cause my last fight, when I fought Zayas, they were booing cause I was like, look, I'm slipping, he's slipping. I'm not gonna go out there and try to fight for both slipping. I'm just gonna go out there and just get the victory and go fight Quentin. And they were booing me and Mike came out there booing me and everything he threw, they was ooing and on and trying to boo me. I didn't care. So what? They don't like me here because I don't like them. Simple. You enjoy the hatred? Does it drive you? It don't matter to me because you're gonna people are gonna love you or hate you. If you keep it real, you know what I'm saying? People you're gonna be polarizing. So people some people like realness, some people like fakeness. You know what I'm saying? But I keep it real so people love it or hate it. The truth is not the word, right? Straight up. I'll I'll fight again, you know what I'm saying? Like I get paid to fight, so why not fight? Plain and simple. Weighted at 202 pounds, is middleweight potentially in the future? I know you talked about that after the fight. It's just simply an offer to you to think about it. It's like this. If the money is right, I will take the middleweight. I don't care. I fight. You know what I'm saying? So I can make middleweight. Like, I was even trying to make 202. I was just out there playing around. I was sipping water and Gatorade backstage, chewing ice. And I thought it was going to be 204, 205, and it's 202. It, it don't matter, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not a big 205 pounder, but I can, I'll, I'll fight where the money is. How about Rampage? You still want to get that rematch with yeah. Rampage, man? He don't want, no, actually, he, he asked me for a rematch. Hey, let him know that if y'all talk to him, I don't know, he's been AWOL. If y'all talk to him, let him know that I will, I will grant him his rematch, but I think that he's scared or something, or he might be done. Who knows what he's doing, man? I don't care. You know what I'm saying? He's, he's, Who do you want to fight more, uh, Rampage or uh, Newton? Don't matter, you know what I'm saying? Newton, Quinn. Tito, Bonner, whoever, don't matter to me, you know what I'm saying, I just fight. The striking has continued to improve. Do you think people finally are now just not calling you a wrestler with a heavy hand and a real boxer? Well, I'm gonna be real with you, they have sloppy out there. I was trying to just get him out of there. I, I, I can work my jab, I can box. If you put me in a boxing ring, I'll box with, I can box against certain people. I get beat up sometimes by the, the guys that know what they're doing. But MMA is a little different because, you know, he was, I was looking for him to throw kicks. And I changed things up. And I saw he was going to throw kicks. So I was fainting. And I saw that he's pushing his jab. So I was going to try to counter it with the over, like the overhand right. I was going to try to fade with the left hook, right hand. But he was just kind of like kind of tentative. And he was trying to explode when he could. So I had to just wait, wait him out and fill him out and then get him out of there. Bellator told me they did change the canvas for this one. Did you see a difference in the canvas this time? I put like this. Everybody got cameras. Look at my big toe. See that, see that mat burn? First time I ever had a mat burn on a Bellator canvas. First time. And that don't feel too good. I'm used to it. Well, I'm actually, I'm not used to it because I've been fighting the Bellator for like, what, two years now? Yeah, about that. And I've had n not one mat burn. Now all of a sudden they changed the canvas. And I'm telling y'all, y'all think I'm joking. How many times y'all see people slipping? Now, in the old, the old, the old canvas, people were slipping and sliding like they was ice skating. This one, people was stuck there throwing hands. When you, was there a point when you realized, hey, this is a new canvas and I'm not gonna worry about slipping down? I knew it when they said they changed the canvas because Kobe don't play, you know what I'm saying? He said, I'm gonna change the canvas to the old Strike Force canvas. Bingo, I knew I was good. I never slipped in Strike Force, you know what I'm saying? With no slipping in Strike Force for me. Bellator, I was slipping all over the place. Every five slip. So your promo had um, a lot of nods to your vocabulary and some of the words you've used in the past to describe uh, the previous uh, Scott Coker there. I want to know, can we expect more exciting language from you or are you going to do more of the, the talking with the hands now? Man, I just do what I feel like doing. Really, I don't, I don't plan nothing out. I freestyle. I don't practice nothing. I don't, I don't look in the mirror or nothing. I just, off the top of the dome, I just spit it right there, you know what I'm saying? So how's your health right now? Like, you got those different problems that uh, affect your knee and so on, right? I tell you this, like, um, it took some time, you know what I'm saying? Because I was on, people don't understand, I was on Banco Mice for about four months. And that's like, strong, that's strong stuff. And after that, I fought a few months later, you know what I'm saying? Maybe four, like, you know, four, four months later. And that's, I'm still, I'm still healing from that stuff. And I'm feeling bigger, stronger, faster. But it's a process, man, because at Banco, I thought I was going to take it and be, be good. No, it messed my whole body up. 
and regarding our previous management, I mean, you've had your differences, but at the same time, they were putting your name on headlining events, uh, their TV ads, their billboards. I mean, what was missing, really? Well, as far as what the last? Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. As far as uh, Bjorn and, and what they were doing for you. It went, it went, it went man. Look, come on, man. It was, it was kind of. Um, I feel like it was fair weather. Like you know, real, I, I wouldn't ask to be put in the forefront of nothing, but I feel like Bjorn was kind of um, fake with it. You know what I'm saying? Cause as soon as he signed Quentin, he hit me up was like, hey, we got big plans for Quentin and you, and then, you know, blah, blah, blah. So if y'all see the press conference, I didn't say nothing when we, when me and Quentin were on the same car last time. But he was all up on Quentin like this, like, what, some type of female, trying to holler at him. And I was sitting there like, all right, I see how it is. You know what I'm saying? Y'all saw it. Every promo, we fixed his knees. We did this for Quentin. We got him a car. We did this. Quentin's a god. Quentin this. Oh, Quentin, Quentin. He's a groupie. Straight up. Would you say you feel more respected now under the new leadership? Well, it's not just me. I feel like as a whole, all of us fighters and the staff. Because I had many people, I had people come to me from the staff talking about Mo. Damn, I'm glad you told him something because I felt disrespected by him. He was a he was a asshole. And I've heard that from a lot of people. I'm glad he's gone. Ugh. Can stand them. I just kept it real and so I had to say because I wasn't gonna sit there and just like eat it. You know what I'm saying? Like a lot of people at MMA, they be getting punked and they don't be saying nothing. Mike, tell them. We keep it real. Real talk entertainment. <laughs> real talk entertainment. It's my, it's my Paul Heyman right here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we look at the light heavyweight title picture right now. Mayhem has got to fight next week against Joey Beltran. Do you feel like this is a victory that can put you right in line for a title shot? Or do you understand that, hey, maybe you need to get another win? I don't know. It's, up to, what, it's up to what Beltran say. Because if that's the case, I'd fight for Belt every time. You know what I'm saying? I fight for Belt heavyweight, 185, and 205. I just keep on rotating title shots. To me, I just fight. You know what I'm saying? And whoever they tell me to fight, well, I fight. You still money weight? Money weight, yeah. Happy that there is no more tournaments, you don't go through that anymore. Well, the tournaments to me, after a while, they got stupid because they get people get lost in the shuffle. It's like this 205, y'all said next week, you got Liam McGreary versus Kelly Anunson. None of y'all know who Kelly Anunson is, but I bet you all know who um, Liam is because this fight was shown. But I'm telling y'all, y'all sleeping on Kelly because Kelly might mess around and beat him. I think, I, think, I think they're both great fighters, but Kelly's. Well, not, not not really. They don't they only show him show no respect, and people know who he it's, is. It's big of a name, is what yeah, you're but yeah, but because they don't they didn't market exactly. him. They so what happens is when when Kelly wins, they're like, Liam just lost to who? Who is this guy? You know what I'm saying? So, so you're saying they're sleeping on him, and he's they're sleeping on him. Yeah, they're sleeping on him for real. I know you train with him. His wrestling, he's shown how good it is. I mean, for you as a wrestler, how good is his wrestling? It's pretty good. You know what I'm saying? It's pretty good. You know, like like um, it's pretty good. I guess it's very solid, strong. He. He's good, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm like a bad bastard, he's, he's good, but you know, he can't beat me in wrestling. <laughs> you know, hey, it happens. How do you feel about promotions having the occasional brawl uh, when people have their matchups announced? Uh, are you cool with that? Or you don't carry the way or what? I don't care, it's like this. Here's the thing, but the, I don't get the fans, right? They're like, oh, that's, that's stupid. But y'all pay to see fights. Who cares if one of them breaks out in the cage and this? You know, we all see fights, right? I don't care if it's a street fight. I don't care. People, that's what world, look at the world star. You know, the world star got fight compilations. People watch those. Sharkisha, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> the girl with the shovel. Yeah, yeah. People, people, people want to see that. People want to see fights. If a fight breaks out of the ring or the cage, okay, oh well. Don't matter. It's real. I don't know. I'm, I don't know. I'll fight the winner. <laughs> I'll fight the winner. But I, I, like, I like Bonner's promo. I like what Bonner did because, you know, I guess Bonner hates him. That's cool with me. You know what I'm saying? If you hate him, motherfucker, say, talk shit about him. You like the mask over? I don't know. Who, who was that mask dude? Who was he? Uh, Justin McCauley. Yeah, Justin yeah. McCauley. Oh, Spawn Party. That's him. Yeah. See, that's, that's good too. I like that. You know what I'm saying? I like the theatrics. I but like do you, that. Do you understand where fans will say that looks too much like professional wrestling, too much scripted? Can I, Y'all want me to quote what I always say? Yeah, yeah you got it. Yeah. Fuck the fans. Because they, they don't know what they want. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they want to see fights? Okay, a fight was broke out, but you can say it's scripted? You know, they don't know what happened. They ain't here. The ones, in the, the ones outside, they're at the venue. Some might, might, might be like, hey, it's real. Some might be like, it's fake. But you know what? They're going to watch the fight when it really goes down. You can't fake that. So who cares? So love or hate you as long as they're talking about you, right? Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I like you in the media. Thanks, guys. Thanks, Mal.